Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin, and the last time I heard, horse can vomit. Every single day. Okay, welcome to the episode of I'm Not Here Right Now Today review. Yes, um, if you're watching this today, it's because I'm not here. I am not in the studio to record anything. I am probably somewhere uh, either on air or on water. So um, I won't be able to, to share my uh, favorite smoking time with you guys. So today we'll do a small review on this particular cigar. It's the Avo Improvision 2019. Um, this is a uh, box press Toro. So the size is 6x52 and uh, is the Ecuadorian wrapper. And inside is all Dominican Republic uh, tobacco. So the filler and the binder is all Dominican uh, Republican you know, tobacco. So uh, according to the information that I heard about is that they make a cigar every year, like one of these limited edition one every year, uh, in honor of Avo's birthday, and so they make it kind of rare and stuff like that. Since they only produce about two thousand five hundred of boxes of these, so it's not a lot of those, but they make it pretty. It, uh, uh, I don't have the box with me right now, but if you go online, check out the box. They're actually in shelves. They are in box of twenties, top. There's 10 and then there's shelves that you can take it off. There's another 10 in there and then another shelf that you can take it out. So it's actually really, really cool cigar. Uh, just for comparison's sake, this is a $15, depends where you buy it, $15 cigar. So uh, let, let's get cutting and let's get going to our, our review on this cigar. Right, it's a somewhat of a uh, uh, like a sweeter, woodsy smell to it, and it does have even just smelling it, you can smell the pepper note to it because my nose now is kind of like burning. It's got a little bit of things going on. It's like it's this pepper on the surface just for smelling it. Let's give it a try. Very good draw on this particular one. Light it up. So, you know, if you want to guess what what time I'm recording this, uh, well, if I was to guess when you're going to be watching this, it would be Saturday, and it's just, you know, a little bit before that Saturday, to be honest with you. So, uh, hopefully this is not like, I don't, I didn't smoke this one before that happened. You know, smoke now, and hopefully no repeats. <laughs> no repeats, no repeats. Okay, right away you get the woodsy dark coffee bitterness to it. Uh, that's from the lighting, obviously. But the draw is good, so I like the I like the beginning of that draw. Okay, so you get um, hay, you get burning hay, you get uh, a little bit of creaminess, you get. Some sort of spice, uh, just a little bit tingly sensation. It's not pepper; it could be chili. Uh, uh, kind of spice going on in in the retro hill and, and in the inhale as well. I mean, draw. And if you blow out quick enough, you get that little bit of cream uh, taste to it. I want to talk about this uh, particular. Band. It's actually really cool because in a way it looks like a matte print. It's like just matte. There's no shine to it But if you really look closely all the part that has copper is actually shiny uh, Except the back which is just like a regular color, but the front where, the, where it meets copper color is all shiny so They you know they actually take time to really get the, the decoration going. They really get the uh, look going I don't know why they had to make it in the box press uh, you know, it is more hassle, I guess, but you know, some people want something different, so I can totally understand that. Okay. 
So yeah, the rapper is an Ecuadorian Habano uh, rapper, and uh, from the taste of it, it's a full body cigar. You can tell like right away. You kind of feel a little bit of vitamin in, in there. And if you feel it that quickly, usually it's gonna be a full body cigar by the time it gets here. So I do have my little sugary tea here. So make sure you gotta get some something sugared going. If you don't, halfway through you gotta be regretting. You get, you totally gotta regret. So you know, make sure you, you always have some sugar with you. Uh, sugary drink, sugary candy, chocolate, stuff like that to kind of help you going. Uh, for me, usually tea, whatever soda I have works. All right, so I'm gonna smoke through the first third and I'll get back to you on that. Like I say, I hate cutting, but I hate also making you, you know, look through an hour and 30 minutes of footage of me just looking at the cigar and really think to myself what am I doing so let's get the, the cutting magic going just to, you know like this that's actually not enough smoke let's just do that again <laughs> okay we're back um, I just went through one third and I can tell you that this is definitely as full strength as you can possibly get for this particular cigar because one third of the way through I feel like I'm uh, I just smoke a half of uh, a medium body cigar just one third just that little chunk this much and I already feel the strength there's, there's a lot going on with this cigar the draw is great I like this like, like semi loose draw it's not it's not like a regular draw but it's a little bit loose to it so you can get a lot of smoke going on in this particular cigar Smoke output is amazing. There's a lot of smoke output. Like the smoke comes out so much, you actually climb the side of the cigar. Like that's a good smoke output. It's very oily. The, the, even though the the surface looks matte, but it has that shine going going on. It's a really really good cigar. So what's going on with the first third? Earthy, uh, cedar, sweet. A little bit sweetness, that's uh, almost like a sweet chili, but I, I would say from the nose, from the nose, it, it kind of tastes like like a maple sweet. You can, you can kind of get the sweetness, had a little tree, you know, branch, ma maple leaf kind of feel to it. So that there is a little bit of those. Uh, there's some sort of spice in there too, but uh, it's more like a, a regular cigar with sweetness and spice that kicks afterward and then you are gonna feel this cigar throughout the whole cigar I can tell you that the strength is just building and building and building so if you like really strong cigar this is for you if you don't like strength of cigar this takes some training this is not it's not something that you can just blow through it you know at first I thought well, I'm gonna finish this really quickly no can't I have to put it down small put it down small put it down small because it's very strong so, uh, again, magic for editing before I pass that or anything like that. Uh, we will go to the next uh, third of this particular cigar and see where that takes me. Hopefully, uh, I, you know, I can taste some transition or something like that. If uh, there is something different, I'll let you know. So, let's go there. Oh, this is such a long cigar. I, it took me a while just to get to just under the halfway point or a little bit more than that um, I will consider this as halfway point because it's getting closer to the band and um, it get creamier it does get creamier the spice is more noticeable and and this is uh, it's weird but uh, I think this particular cigar has this uh, really grainy mouthfeel it kind of dries me out a little bit uh, so I, I, I feel like Smoking this cigar makes me drink more liquid because it dries you up a little bit with the the spice graininess or uh, that particular um, sp spiciness at the end of it kind of gets me to do that. Uh, it did kind of start to burn a little bit weird. I had to correct it one time, and um, it, when I corrected it, ash fell down, and it gave me that really slight hints of raw cacao and. And then continues to go back to the woodsiness, to to the uh, more um, how do you describe that? 
more of a hay and crossover with the cedar flavor. So it's not like not a lot of change from the uh, from the first third, but uh, it kind of the flavor goes up and down. It's not like straight the same flavor strength at the same time. So it's just like you know, first it gets really strong. And you start to really taste the flavor, and then it's starting to kind of die down just a little bit, and it starts to feel like grainy, uh, ness to it, uh, and, and then, and then it can get creamier, but it dries you up a little. I feel like I'm kind of like dehydrated just for smoking this, but it's still a very enjoyable cigar. And I, I, I was reading and, and and I was doing work uh, while I was smoking the cigar, and and, and just made me forget how how long I have been working. And literally, as I, I look at the cigars, oh, I'm really close to the middle. Uh, I need to do an update, but uh, it didn't feel like it didn't feel like uh, I I took a long time to smoke this. Then I look at the time, so ooh, that took a while. That really took a while. So yeah, uh, still strength. There's a lot of strength in this thing. Okay, uh, uh, I had to put this down over and over again. Uh, usually I smoke really quickly. This this particular cigar you cannot smoke quickly. This it's just so strong. Unless you're like a usual strong uh, uh, vitamin N uh, smoker, this is quite strong. So, you know, if you're new to cigars and you try to smoke this, you really want to take your time on this. You really want to smoke slowly and, and really give it time to, to settle down, to settle down. Let your body go, oh, there's a lot of nicotine and let me kind of process it. If you don't, you got to get hit by that nicotine later on and you'll be like, ooh, I feel sick. But, you know, I take my time on this and, and I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. It really make the time fly by really quickly. And I didn't, I didn't have to let out another, another cigar particularly uh, an hour later. So, you know, let me continue to finish this. I'm going to take the band off and uh, we'll chat again once I get to the somewhere about the, second, the last band. And then we'll see if the flavor changes. All right. Let's go. All right. So now I passed the, the uh, bands on this particular cigar and uh, I'm pretty much done, almost there. So to summarize this particular cigar, number one, it's strong. It's definitely a full body cigar. Number two, it's very long. So uh, it's gonna take like an hour to almost two hours to finish. If not, if you're a slow smoker, it's probably gonna take even longer than that. And number three, the flavors, earthy cedar, uh, hay, uh, some spice, some creaminess, a uh, little bit of sweetness, it's almost like maple cedar-ish uh, sweet here and there. It's not a lot of sweet, but it did get sweeter as it goes towards the end. The strength is definitely at full strength nearly the end. Uh, almost halfway through is already at full, full strength for sure. So if you're a newbie, it might not be the best thing for you, but if you're really used to smoke cigar and then you you already you know you can handle full body cigar, full string cigar, this is it for you. This is great. It's very enjoyable, especially if you're doing some work and you just not you know to pick it up, down, pick it up, down, not just keep smoking it. It will absolutely blow your mind. This is great cigar. Uh, the presentation is great. Uh, the smoke experience is great. Except I had to do a touch up twice. Okay, I did have to do touch up twice. It could be because I put it down for a little bit too long. So uh, here and there, it might not burn that particularly even. Overall, fifteen dollar. I think you gotta get more than fifteen dollar worth on this thing because it's it's there. It's there. The flavor is there. Uh, the strength is there, and the size definitely is there. Um, now that you made it at to, to the end of this video, good news for your chance to try this cigar to win one. All you had to do is like this video, throw a comment below if you want to, um, go to our Facebook group and put a post, all right, a post. Just say, what do I need to do to get that stick? That's all you had to say. What do I need to do to get that stick? Don't answer any question. Don't answer to any, uh, what is that about? It's the same thing. At the end of this video, if you're lucky to just skip to this point or you just watch the whole way through all you had to do is just go to Facebook group and just say what do I need to do to get the stick what do I need to do to get that stick what do I need to do to get that stick yeah say it a few more times so I remember what it is too what do I have to do to get that stick and that's it 
that's all you need to do and then a uh, random winner will uh, be selected to win this particular cigar and i hope you guys have a good weekend really enjoy your weekend really enjoy your weekend i i, I can't um obviously i didn't look at the the forecast but enjoy your weekend and hopefully you win the cigar uh it's it's, uh, it's definitely a challenge a journey to finish the cigar because it's so strong it's so good uh the graininess at the end it did it did reduce it did, um still makes me feel dry but it's that graininess is gone so that's just a temporary small portion of that that i don't particularly like but overall great cigar 15 dollars any day any day and, and it's one of those cigars that if you like it you should definitely get the box if you can find it of course there's only what 2500 bucks around the world so that's how we do it that's how we do it anyways that should be it stay saucy and um you know have a good weekend i will try to be back as soon as i can after i trip my trip and all that stuff um there's a few things to look forward to there's the um cigar mechanic and shadow smoker legion t-shirt that is being worked on there even might be a bob the cigar guy and shadow smokers legion t-shirt just so you know it might happen it might happen yeah, yeah yeah it might happen so yeah i'll try to do my best try to get back to our normal routine and all that stuff but uh you know while i'm busy make sure to check out uh Matina Maya, Bob the Cigar Guy, Cigar Mechanic, uh, and uh, even TNT Cigar Review and Cigars Daily Review. Those things will occupy your time while I'm not here. Okay? So have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. And you... goodbye.